Hi guys, it's Lenny. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am finally, finally announcing that I am collecting OT5 for La Seraphim. I love their music. I love their personalities. I get so happy whenever I like see them interacting, watching videos of them, seeing them perform. I'm finally announcing that I'm collecting OT5 for La Seraphim. These are my girlies, they're like my alt girl group and everyone that knows me knows how much I struggle to find a girl group that I will alt, but these girls have topped the cake. So I collect OT5 for album cards as well as different like um, merch drops they might have if they have like OT5 sets. And then I mainly collect Kazaha for like pops, fan signs, lucky draws, special cards, and stuff like that. I'm thinking of adding two more members, but then I'm like, I wanna just collect OT5 for everything, but I know that's so expensive. <laughs> but we'll see, but I collect Kazaha mainly for everything. So I'm super duper excited to announce this collection. I know people have been saying it's hard collecting La Seraphim, which it can be hard because these girls are so expensive. Like Fear Knots have been selling their cards for such insane prices but i've managed to find them for good prices and i've also found a group order manager that i literally love so for their unforgiving comeback i pretty much just joined all of her group orders let's finally get into storing these photo cards i've had them for a good moment now and i've been waiting to store them for this video and i'm super duper excited if you like videos like this make sure you comment down below subscribe to my channel turn on your bell notifications i said that's so backwards but it's okay let's get started i still need to make a binder cover for this and i'm probably just going to use one of my la seraphim frozen aquamarine albums because that concept literally gorgeous i still love that concept but as you can see i do have these dividers i bought these whoop, i bought these from a seller on etsy and i have all five members they were so cute i could not pass it up and i was like can i buy all of these off of you like these are so pretty and it's my favorite concept from anti-fragile so please and she sold them to me and they're so pretty so First, of course, I just have their season's greetings because I did collect their season's greetings. So that's how it's sectioned off. So Chaewon's just gonna have season greetings. Then I have Sakura, in which she's just gonna have like merch drop stuff. So I do have their day off Jeju Island PC. So I did buy that photo book. I'm still debating if I want to store like larger inclusions in here because I still have my new jeans collection in here, which is not the largest so i just put it in here with this binder so it has all of my girlies but i have all of their pcs right here nice and don't mind my nails my nails are super duper ugly and if the audio changes a bit i'm sorry i just decided to sit down because i i'm just tired so and i do tend to store all of my photo cards like in member order i know i could store it in age order and just have sakura be first but i'm too lazy <laughs> to change all of that because if i did that um my bias line really is kozaha of course yunjin and chaewon but i love all the girlies like i love sakura i love unche she is so cute sakura's stage performance and just her whole aura as an idol love it okay this is complete so this is the first merch like related stuff that i have i'm still trying to find their fear not a pcs like from their fan meeting which they're pretty affordable next we have this section which is this is just going to be my special kazahar cards I don't know why I said her name like that, but I do have two cards at the moment. I do have more at the Miyokio warehouse because I have her debut showcase photo card, which I'm super duper excited to store that. But I have her Fear Not a card. So I got this from my gom. Literally amazing. And I'm going to put this in the middle. So cute. And then I have her Anti Fragile showcase. PC in which I'm probably I don't know where I want to put this so we'll just put it right here for right now 
and then I know her debut showcase PC I'm gonna put right here I might as well move this because I might just put her Weverse global pop that is literally so expensive because it's so cute I finally got that too I'll probably just put it right here and then that'd be anti-fragile and then I'm trying to get the unforgiven ones so now we have that um, and then her showcase PC debut showcase PC will go right here and if I can get a broadcast card maybe right here but yeah these are all of the cards I have so far because of her she's so cute I just love her um, next this Yunjin section is just going to be for all of my album photo cards so I do collect all of their Korean album cards and I have a couple of their Japan, Fearless Japan cards. If you watched my previous videos, you all would have known I used to just collect Kazaha and Chaewon. So I have like their stuff. So I did go back and get all of the other girlies items. So let's start off with these. And then I might just put the, because I did get the Weverse Japan Pops. And I do have a pop section, but I just decided to put them right here because I like them. And I did originally want to put their solo jacket cards right here, but I'm just going to put these right here because I like them. But we can now take out all of these fillers, so let's do that. I don't even know why. Oh, I did that to keep track of the cards I had on the way. Okay. Let's talk about their comeback with Unforgiven. I love that album. I mean, I get that people are kind of upset because we were expecting new songs, but I can understand why they did record, re-record certain songs again. I don't know why they put anti fragile on it, but whatever. That's another story. But I can understand why they did re-record other songs again, just for like legal purposes. But I love that album. That album is so 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 good the comeback show was so good as well all the fan cams that i still see i literally love and adore my favorite um songs i definitely would say are the eve psych the that song let me get my phone because eve psych the bluebird's wife i love that song flash forward is another favorite of mine Fire in my belly, of course, Unforgiven, No Return. I love it pretty much the whole album because really we're just looking at Burn the Bridge and Down. And yeah, but Eve, Psych, and The Bluebird's Wife. Literally my favorite B-side probably. I blast that song so much. I'm listening to it all the time. I, I just love that song. Literally, I'm a mess in distress, but we're still the best dress. Fearless, say yes. We don't dress to impress. I just love them. That's why I say the Seraphim gives me a confidence booster. Why is this card not staying in place? But that's why I was saying the Seraphim, they just give me a confidence booster. And I want to do their Unforgiven um, dance challenge. And I find it so ironic because I say the Seraphim gives me like a confidence booster, but I was literally so afraid to possibly perform not perform but um do the challenge and i actually listened to a speaker i think earlier this week and one thing that that speaker said that really really stuck with me was to not let fear conquer you and i feel like we well, i don't want to say we because i'm not sure everyone but a lot of people do tend to let fear conquer them um me being one of them <laughs> With a lot of stuff but then i just think about how much la seraphim and their music and their personalities and everything how much they just give me a confidence booster and i'm like i would want my first like i guess tiktok dance challenge to be la seraphim because they do give me a lot of confidence and i'm obsessed with these girlies they just make me happy um I'm just like you literally just gotta listen to the messages they send and I what am I doing <laughs> when you get distracted so much you're talking a lot and usually I like never talk in my videos but 
I want to learn to be I mean I'm confident in myself but more in a sense of not really caring what people have to say sometimes I feel like I do care what people have to say about me uh, which I shouldn't because first off not everyone is gonna like you that's one thing this is so pretty I need to find some fillers right here to put right here this is so cute but not everyone is going to like you and that is okay um I'm pretty sure everyone doesn't like everyone either so that is okay that everyone does not like you like there is nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with you so sorry I just made that little tangent but next we're going to the monochrome bouquet cards and then the see I, I wrote this so backwards because I wanted the pops to go right here but I'm just gonna put their um, other cards right here and these are all the cards I have I'm just missing on this page I'm just missing Chaewon and Unche's solo jacket cards. You can see all of my fillers are coming back. Yeah, if you have listened to the album, let me know which song was your favorite. I really would love to know. But yeah, those are my favorites. What am I doing? Oh, I am what okay there we go add these cards out of order that's why i'm like what is going on girl you're not paying attention to what you're doing <laughs> let's put sakura's cards back here and i also have sakura's solo jacket card i excited to finally be storing these cards away and I actually enjoy collecting La Seraphim. I haven't traded yet. I'm kind of nervous with the trading community. I just did my first trade which was actually so much fun. I had got a lot of like um, endorphins <laughs> from doing so and it was actually from a YouTuber that I watched which was pretty cool. It wasn't for La Seraphim, it was for 17 but it was really really nice to um trade for once and i was telling my co-worker about it because i also got a new job that's why i haven't been able to film as much lately because i have limited time now on my hands um but i was telling her like everything about like with my k-pop and stuff because i usually don't tell people too much but i'm like you know what i just don't care i listen to k-pop oh well if you don't like it you don't have to listen to it you're not the one listening to it you're not the one funding my k-pop obsession so that's good this is so cute see and that's why i love this layout i love this layout right here a lot of their cards are in layout form like this because i get to see everything i get to see everyone on one page the only section that is not like that is anti-fragile i might have to go back and redo anti-fragile with laying out stuff but I do have some cards for anti-fragile. Yeah. I've been finding these cards for good prices, but I will say, like everyone else does, anti-fragile is definitely, definitely, definitely expensive. I remember when I first thought about collecting LT5 for the Seraphim, I could find these cards for such cheap prices. Like whole sets for seven dollars now i'm paying like seven dollars for one card it's okay though it's all okay i love these girlies so i really don't mind uh, what else do we have we have sakura and we have another sakura card so i forgot how this was set up it's okay it's my collection anyway <laughs> we'll set it up this way and for anti-fragile i just did seven patterns for the girlies so yeah they have seven patterns and then we have some yunjin cards i'll definitely say yunjin is i get what people say she's definitely a bit harder to collect but it's all good though like 
Steel. Love her cards. So I'm make sure I did this right. I did not do this right. I don't know what I'm thinking. See, caught myself. I'm <laughs> getting distracted again, but it's all good. Um, but she can be a difficult member to collect, but... Oh, I already took these out. Um, I actually like and enjoy collecting her. I enjoy collecting all of them. Eventually, I do want to collect OT5 for everything. That includes pops, fan signs, lucky draws, all of that. Someday, but not today. And then I have this card on the way. It's at the New York Warehouse. And then we do have my Kazaha cards. And I do have some of her cards at the Yokio Warehouse as well. Let me go right here. And this one goes right here. Cute. Uh, there is a here and here, I think. Okay. Another hard member is Unche. I would definitely say between Chewan, not Chewan. Yunjin and Unche. Unche is definitely hard for me. I, I think it's because she's now the MC. Because I used to find her cards so easily. But now, it's difficult to find her cards when I see them. They're expensive too. My girly is expensive. But it's all good. We love our Makne. She's so cute. And if you're wondering why I have the Frozen Aquamarine cards in the middle when it's like the third version, it's because it's my favorite version, so I want to put it in the middle. But yeah, I'm excited for Anti Fragile to eventually come together. I'm gonna start actively looking for their cards again once I get back from my vacation. And then we have the units, so we'll just put. <laughs> and I was gonna put Unchanged A1 in the middle, you know, the Monkne in the middle. But yeah we're gonna do it like that and then this is my setup for f not <laughs> girl this is not 17 this is my setup for unforgiven i do have some cards that i did pull so these are my pulls from my four albums i bought all three versions and one compact version because that's all they had in my target and i pull my brain literally is all over the place. I pulled Kazaha and then I pulled Chewan's cards and then I did pull, oh wait, this is, here we go. And then I have the Target cards in which I pulled Eunjin and Kazaha's cards. Funny, I pulled like my bias line a lot, oh my gosh. My other cards are at my, my cards, my other albums are at my k Addy. So like I said, I won't be getting those until after I get back on vacation because I just don't want them sitting. That's what we have. I definitely need to look up a template because I don't know how these cards look. This card is Dewey Sage. So we do have Kazaha. I believe this one is Dusty Amber, and then this one is Bloody Rose. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So these are my pools. Pretty lit. Pretty lit. And I have joined a couple of group orders as well. Okay, I thought some people on this card, but yeah. Okay, so these are the pools. Quite nice. But I'm gonna hold off, hold off on buying more albums. I think I might buy a few more because I think Olive Young, they have still the um, showcase PCs. I'll just have to look and see if I can still pre-order them. If not, I won't be buying any albums anytime soon. So I have that. And then I do have Chewan's compact card. Like I said, I just need to see which one this one is. If it's compact one, two, or three. So it looks like it is the second version of the compact card. So it'll go right here. Cool. 
nice. I don't have any of my Weavers cards, of course, because they didn't sell those. But I was trying to think about what to do with these cards. But I think I might just put them on the sides right here. Does that look right? Yeah, it's going to look right today. <laughs> so we're just going to put the group cards that I got from Target. And I'm glad they're photo card size because goodness gracious, we all know with Fearless Japan, those were like tour card sizes. So yeah, we're gonna put those right there. And then the selfie ones I'm gonna put right here. I really wanna trade to get Che ones, but I don't know if anyone's gonna trade. We'll see, but I'll put Kazaha in the middle because I pulled Yunjin twice. That's one like I really want to get Che ones. Because then I know I would get three QR codes which can help out with the Weaver section. So we'll have like full pages of stuff. But yeah, this is how Unforgiven is looking right now. Cute. Okay, cool. So lastly, we have this Unche section. And this is where I'm going to put all of my pops and stuff. So I do have the Fearless, their Korean album pops. Now this one does have Garam in here. And I'm going to add her in here because I like the setup with it. And yeah. Che Wan, Sakura, Yunji. And then we're gonna do Kazaha, and Uche. So yeah. And this is cute. I like how this looks. Yeah. And then I have all of my other pops that I literally have secured just from, oops. I think I have another pop set as well coming for the weavers. But yeah, so that is everything now. Now this binder finally has the cards in here thank goodness i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe i'm super duper excited to continue to collect glacera film ot5 like i said they give me confidence i just love them they make me happy they are another group that keeps me sane and i'm so grateful to have them in my life like i said i'm waiting for my unforgiven albums to come and a couple packages to come from neokyo and i will have more content regarding the seraphim and hopefully by the next video i have a cover made for them but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and comment down your favorite photo card from each era from the seraphim even though there are only technically four eras at the moment just comment down below let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys